What's going on guys, Infante back again with another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. So, in this episode, we're going to go ahead, another Jirachi. We're going to go past Route 110 and move forward up north and see what there is for us to have and to explore. Hey look, I found a Great Ball without using the Atom Finder. Nice. Nothing else. I know there's one up there. It's the most obvious product placement I've ever seen in my life. Our team's looking pretty well rounded in levels. DJ's falling pretty short, I'd say. Can I see your Pokemon? Just one look, please. <laughs> okay, full throttle time. <laughs> if you can't groove, you get left behind. So, like, this is going to be a very boring episode, guys. I just want you all to know right off the bat. But if you guys are down for that, then stick around. I am more than happy to show you guys this boring episode. So, yeah. Just do keep that in mind. Oh, we learned Water Gun, finally. It's just double the attack of Bubble. Why would we not have it? Um, but do keep in mind that it will be a pretty boring, just battling a lot of trainers kind of episode. But if you're cool with that, then let's sit back, enjoy, and fight a bunch of trainers. And hopefully get everyone to a nice little round level. I think I'm, I'm aiming for around 18-19 today. If everyone can get to 18-19, I think we'll be at a pretty good spot. But if we can get more than that, then that's fantastic too. So we're pretty soon going to have to give DJ that um, EXP share, right? Oh my goodness gracious. Thank Lord. <sighs> Why am I cursed? Why am I cursed? This game hasn't done anything too bad yet, but boy has this game scared me. Wow. This game is very scary. What the actual crap. <laughs> that could not be scarier. Wow. I'm actually a little shook. I don't know if he has levitate. He does not. Okay. I wasn't sure. <laughs> Ouch. I have like this super sore throat, so sneezes like that just like scrape the inside of your throat even more and I'm just like, why? Why is that even a thing? Okay, we're out of here. Oh my goodness. Alright, you know, we can fight that for experience, I think. Yeah, maybe not. Wow. Alright, a couple of close calls with Kazim already, and we haven't even been three minutes in this episode. These are, um, Iapa berries. Nope, Nanabs. I'm an idiot. We have nine Nanab berries now. So now we just put three of them back, and we just grow our Nanab berries for no reason, just because we can. But Nanabs, alright. I know what you have. You're a fisherman, you're water types. I think Z2 is fine. Hey! Don't think about behind me like that! Alright. Are you serious on the first one? I mean, I'm truthfully not that surprised, but jeez, man. At least coming some slack. Crit? Okay, cool. Another way, Omer? Sure. Yep. Mika, Mika, Mika. Come on. Knock off. So knock off is most certainly not worth it. I think I'm gonna pass on it. It's special in this generation, so like there's no reason to have it on Mika. And before Mika has higher special attack than attack, I shouldn't. They're like pretty even, but like, oh, oblivious too. That's good actually. That's like not great, but it's not bad. We're not losing Mika over something so stupid. We're gonna risk it. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we got it, we got it, we got it. 
All right, Let's see what this weirdo has to say. I'm the storyteller. I'll tell you tales of legendary trainers. Will you hear my tale? But I know of no legendary trainer since I know no tales. Where does one find a trainer worthy of a legendary tale? Are you a trainer? Then tell me, have you any tales that are even remotely legendary? What's that? It, you battled 56 times? That is indeed magnificent. It's the birth of a new legend. I think, maybe, I guess he just tells you. Okay, well, I don't know what you're doing there. Has definitely to do with mixing records, I'm assuming. But besides that, I'm not too sure. So we're here in Mobville City. There are a couple of places of interest. Firstly is this house right here. You want to talk to this man? Woohoo! I hear people call me the Rock Smash guy, but I find that sort of degrading. I think it is a little bit more. I like maybe the Rock Smash dude. Woohoo! Anyways, your Pokemon look pretty strong. I like that. Here, take this hidden machine. If you can get a free hidden machine, it's always good. That HM contains Rock Smash. If you come across large boulders that block your path, well, use that HM move and smash them right out of your way. Yes, sir. Smash rocks aside, I say. Woohoo! Sweet. I'm gonna grab this item ball here and X speed. Moving right along, here we can see bikes, and this is the riding gravel and shake up your soul Rydle cycles. Let's see who Rydle's all about. Hey, look, it's the guy from Devon Goods. Well, well, what have we here? A most energetic customer. Me? You may call me Rydle. I'm the owner of this cycle shop. Your running shoes, they're awfully filthy. Did you come from far away? Yep. Hmm. You're saying that you came all this way from Little Root? My goodness, that's ridiculously far. If you had one of my bikes, you could go anywhere easily while feeling the gentle caress of the wind. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a bike. Oh, wait a second, I forgot to tell you that there are two kinds of bikes. There's the Mach and the Acro Bike. The Mach Bike is for cyclists who want to feel the wind with their bodies, and an Acro Bike is for those who prefer technical rides. I'm a real sweetheart, so you can have whichever one you like. I like the Mach Bike better. I'm a Mach Bike kind of guy. If you get the urge to switch bikes, just come see me. Why can't you just give me both? Come on, man. If you're going to be nice, just might as well go the whole way. Finally, did you know that you can go from here a long way in that direction without changing direction? I might even be able to roll that way. You think your Pokemon would want to roll too? I can teach one of the, the moves roll out if you like. I think that would actually be good. Yes. On Mika. Of course, that's actually who I wanted it for, so let's teach it. And for that, we'll get rid of Lick. So, that should be helpful. We see Wally there. I think if he still has that rock. Oh, Uncle, please. I want to challenge his gym and see how much better I've become. Please? May I? Please? Now, hold on, Wally. Since you started living with Pokemon, you have gone quite a lot stronger, but don't you think you're pushing it too suddenly to challenge a gym? I'm not pushing it. If I combine forces with Ralts, we can be anyone. Oh, hi, Infante. I've gotten a lot stronger since we met. Infante, I want to show you and my uncle to understand that. You find that, please, will you have a battle with me? Of course I will. Free experience is what I smell a mile away. Oh, you really showed your uncle there. I lost. Yes, yes you did. Uncle, I'll go back to Vernon Turf. Infante, thank you. Being a trainer is tough, isn't it? It's not just enough to have Pokemon to make the battle. That isn't what being a real trainer is about. Wally, there's no need to be a sword on yourself. Why? What's keeping you from becoming stronger and stronger? Come on, let's go home. Everyone's waiting for you. Yeah, you show him, Uncle. Infante, it just dawned on me that you must be the trainer who kept an eye out for Wally when he caught his Pokemon. Why don't you visit us in Brendan's Earth sometime? I'm sure Wally would enjoy it. Actually, I have other things to do. Oh my goodness gracious, cutscenes. Hehe, <laughs> I was watching that match. You're friends with that boy Wally, aren't you? But you didn't hold anything back and be impressively. Yeah, that's what a real Pokemon battle is all about. I idolize trainers like that. I'll be cheering for you. Bye bye, Scott. Bye. You're my best friend, Scott. Bye bye, friend. All right, let's move on along. Let's get some battles in. Route 118. I think this is fine. The aroma of flowers is a magical power. It cleanses the body and soul. Go, go, go. Pokemon 1, 2, and 3. Oh, they have 6 Pokemon. But they're all low leveled. Even our freaking DJ is the same level as them. Hit them with the Sun Spore. Um, we have Cherry Berries for this exact occasion. But not for this. Can DJ just learn a move already? It'd be so great if he did. Like, seriously. Well, we're gross level 19. He's pretty soon about to hit level 20 by himself, low key. 
Oh my goodness. I'm so tired of these status ailments. Do you have any, um... We have two full heals. Damn, we don't have any of like the chibi chibi ones. Nope, just oh, that. That's not good. Oh, well, I guess we're buying full. We're using a full heal on you, DJ. Make me proud. And he missed it. That was not what we needed there. Whatever. Should be fine. <laughs> Alright, now we just gang up on this guy's Pokemon and uh, call it even. OMG. You can't see me. Uh, wow. What? Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, man. Geez, I literally learned water gun while we're who's level 19 now for some reason. <laughs> that odor, it's Pokenaf. We must register each other. Now you got a strong nose, lady. Alright, let's go back and heal. I'm just gonna do this really quick. I thought I was gonna edit it, but I guess I accidentally held the speed up button way too long. Alright, we're back already, see? You guys got to hear my voice instead. A hard skill here. We found three hard skills recently, that's good. For fishermen, equipment is a key. Alright, tentacool. More like tentacool, not cool, am I right? Alright. Dead. Okay, 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 okay. Everyone's got Pokemon nowadays. Thundershock attack, mud slap attack. If we had equipped the soft sand, it would be a Oko. Just saying. Metal claw for the win. Iron defense. Now that's just better than harden in every way, shape, and form. Just raises your defense by twice. It's like using two hardens in one. There's literally no reason not to have that over harden. And it's a steel type move, so you look super cool. Even though I think they're uh, strength or whatever equipment equivalent of that is. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now we have a bunch of trainers here and an encounter. And an encounter. It's important to note. <laughs> oh, you scare me. You scare me. I'm not sure if I can beat that. Like, we probably can. I'm not, like, too scared, but, like, it's still, I'd rather avoid it. Alright, we have a lot of new people. The Whoopier Berries, Wepper Berries, whatever you want to call them. Oh, I accidentally panted my last Petra Berry, that's great. Uh, I think these are also only Pokey block ingredients, and they are. <sighs> Let's see what we got. Let's go ahead and put, actually, Walrur. Walrur has, like, that, you know, Thundershock. Thunder wave, so. Oh, one tile in. It is a seeking. Jeez, we're just home of the water types. Man, come on. I don't want a water types, man. We have so many. No! I'm Mabaka. Whatever, I don't even care about you, Wally, right now. You know, I'm more mad at myself. <clears throat> what a waste of encounter. Whatever, you know, I'm kind of glad. I didn't even want to see King anyways. <laughs> Jokes on you, stupid sea King. All right, salt aside. Let's see what... I think this should be the last battle where we need to have while we're with the experience. I think level 20 is good, way good enough. So let's keep that moving. Get rid of that Makuhita. Makuhita is probably the scariest thing for him to have. And I accidentally didn't target it. I was just spamming A button. But it ended up working out. Oh my god. Does everybody want my Pokenav on this route? Alright, let's put DJ up front. Let's take this away from me first. Let's go ahead and give it to Mena. Not that Mena needs it. But you know, I might as well get everyone to level 20. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put DJ in the top in the top spot because these people like to carry six mons on them and they're usually around level 14-ish, level 11. Like I can actually 1v1 that easily and not be worried. But if we can learn a ground type move soon, DJ, you'd actually be so much better than you think you are. Like seriously. Like, it'd actually be so helpful if you can learn a ground type move for this upcoming gym battle. 
Like you wouldn't believe, DJ. But it is what it is. If you don't want to learn it, I'm not going to force you to either because I'm not like that. Alright, we're just doing all the train switching for the strategies, right? But we have like a diverse cast of characters for that. Literally, okay, all three of these first trainers register your Pokedex. Come on. Like, as an antisocial person, I don't think that's very nice. Whoa, you freaking have a really freaking far. Okay, I think we can four shot you. Okay, good job, DJ. You two are gonna do a do a pretty. Okay, the first four. Jeez. Alright. Oh, crap. Zutsu grows to level 18, and yeah. So, like, sometimes I have to, like, be quiet while I play. Like, I just have to concentrate, you feel me? So, like, sorry about that. Mana grows to level 18. That is great. DJ's the only one really, like, struggling here. And DJ's doing fine in battle, I feel like. He's just really just not leveling up that quick. But I think he's doing really great in battles, to be honest. Another route. <sighs> I'm not risking that. I played way too many Nels Locks to know how that ends. Can you guys believe where we are? Have we done 10 episodes of this series already? Literally seems like yesterday we just started the series, and now we're already at episode 10. We get a revive up here, which is really good. And we accidentally fight into this guy, which is also not very good, but... Okay, this guy... Mika. Mika can handle that. Mika handles that really well. DJ goes to level 16. That's good as well. Let's go Kazim. He barely even does 1 HP to me, either. Um, I think... Okay, I think DJ can fight that for sure. Gonna go down here, grab yourself a great ball. Always welcome. Over here, you're gonna grab yourself a repel. Also, not bad. I haven't been really using them. I don't think I even used one this playthrough yet. Sure. Meryl. I think we'll just let Kazim handle this team with the headbutt. Alright, Kazim, you do your thing, you clean them up. Level 19 for mana, that's good. It's nice and dandy. That's actually so good, man. Like, I don't even know. I'm actually just, like, really liking this team. This team is actually working out a lot better than I had initially thought. Like, if you look at this team, we just have a really diverse cast of characters. Um, just kind of working. Like, it's not like I'm struggling, it's nothing. And that's that our team hasn't even lived up to their full potential yet. Having a sense slash that doesn't have any attacking moves, really besides scratch. Having a, a chin chow that's not doing much. Having a licky tongue whose attacking move is cut. Our team's getting by pretty well, to be honest. Laron is definitely doing work. But besides that, let's go here to the Vernon Turf Tunnel. The Rust Turf Tunnel. The Rust Turf, Rust and Vernon Turf. Man, just don't have explosion, dog. I'm so scared for explosion right now. We're just gonna keep in wall run and just one shot these guys. Okay. Well, I'm not scared of you using explosion. If you do, I'm gonna have to look up the look up to see if that's an illegal move set. To be quite honest with you. And you're dead. And let's go here. Let's get ourselves a neat little treasure. I believe it's right here. Wow, I actually got it right on the spot. Black Glasses raises the power of dark type moves. We can't really use that. I don't believe we have any dark type moves on our team right now, actually, period. And, um, yeah, I think we've done a lot of battling, and we're still not even done with everything that we can do. You know, I've never noticed that there's, like, this grass is slightly taller. Like, you can kind of see it on your feet. I've never noticed that before. Well, wow. All right. Stupidity aside, let's go back towards Marvel City and... There's actually a couple more places we can do for more battling, and I think we are going to do them. Like it, like I said, today was going to be a boring episode, and I think it's definitely held on to that title of being a boring episode. But if you're watching this, you are beautiful, and I love you for, for sticking through. 
All right. So, it's just one of those things that you just have to do to make sure that we don't lose any Pokemon for this upcoming gym battle. And I think we're fine with these two guys on our team. I'm just trying to do it as fast as possible as well, guys. So, level 18 and 19. These guys are up in level, actually. Let's get rid of that Sentry first. Oof. That could have gone on DJ and just been really annoying. But it didn't. Luckily. I'm surprised you didn't get freaking hacked. Oh, come on. A lot of Pokemon have been living with, like, negative HP. I think we still outspeed. Yeah, we still outsped with Paralyze. Just because we're so fast. And Mana goes level 20. Learns Confusion. That's huge. We're getting rid of Tackle. So now we have no reason for Curse except for just plus defense. That's so... That was huge. That's huge, level 20. Alright, so now we got him at level 20. So we have immediately two... A third of our team is already level 20. I think DJ is just going to get the experience share, so he doesn't have to be even ba participating in battles anymore. Um... Let's take that from you. Kazim is just our, now our pretty much almost our weakest Pokemon, even though he was our starter. We're gonna definitely move him out up front. He doesn't even have trouble like fighting Pokemon. Is the funny thing, he, despite the level difference, he's just so like well statted for the time being that it doesn't matter. All right, let's fight you guys. Oof, come on, both really weak matchups for you, for both of you guys actually. Licky Tongue being a normal type is really powerful. Um, typing wise, it's been really good. No way Water Gun doesn't one shot that. And it was a crit to boot. Okay. Yeah, let's actually get Walbert out of here. He's not. It's not looking hot for him. I was just scared of the Numble, so I had to switch you. Why don't I just go for the Leech? Life. Yeah, I should have just done that from the first 30, 30, 30 experience. That was so, uh, so bad. Um, I think we're going to go back and heal really quick. And now we're going to take on the wind straights, which is very tough, actually. So let's see how we can do this. And let's just go past through them. Just for freaking dumb dummy trainers who think that they're better than you because they're a family that battles even though they're garbage and they just progressively get a little bit stronger i guess i think i know for a fact i can't find the last the last one's gonna be very tough for me actually poison sting that's not even a ground type move come on dude i know you're better than that come on Okay, we're not risking that. Hell to the no. I was kind of nervous. I was like, well, that could have been it. But luckily, the steel typing makes it not too effective. Okay. You're not doing nothing. Oof. And a crit. Because he was level 18 anyways. Um, zit, 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 zit. Leech life ho. Yeah. Sure. Dang it. The Paralyze didn't even matter after a certain point since we just get so high uh, speed. Now, we, our team is getting beat by these win straights, though. This might actually be our first casualty I'm looking here. Okay, so this guy is very scary. Believe it or not. Oh, uh, man. This is tough. Okay, High Jump Kick did absolutely nothing. The best thing that could happen for us is he, he, she... Huh, you know what? You missed that. High jump kick, yep. You missed that. You missed the high jump. Oh, you didn't miss it, dude. Let's go. Let's effing go. Oh my gosh, I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. The strats. Cool. You are strong. My granddaughter was right. Oh man, the strats. You guys have to be impressed by the strats there. <laughs> Pretty proud of myself there. So high jump kick, of course, when you miss, it deals damage. I think in this game it's only a quarter damage, but I think later on it does like half. And yeah, high jump kick is super good in this game. Not many people can learn it either, but her meta tight's notorious for destroying people. Like she can really like sweep through you, to be honest. If she gets like a couple meditates up and just high jump kicks you to death, it's not looking good for you. All right, with that, let's go ahead and do our last bit of training. This is probably our longest episode in the series so far. Let's 
go ahead and get on our bikes that we haven't even used once. And go right through here. And let's fight this guy first. Or girl, I think it's a girl. Yeah, it's actually a girl. It doesn't matter what it is, it barely did damage. DJ goes to level 18, so in the beginning of the episode I said I want everybody to be 18, 17. Everyone's at least 18 and a couple 20s, so I think that's really good. I think we're doing a lot, well first of all, we're doing a lot better than I had initially wanted anyways. So for me, that's always a plus. Um, yep. We can never just one shot with Mudslap, can we? Rest in peace, Kazim. You know, we went a long time without suffering any casualties. Can't say I'm surprised. Can't say I'm disappointed, though. I'm actually very disappointed. Because double confusion for the win. I don't even want to do Cycling Road anymore. You know what? You know what? Don't even talk to me. I have, I'm sad that I have to register you on my Pokédex because I'm not, I'm not given the option to not. But trust me, if I had the option, Abigail, let me tell you what, Abigail, I would not be registering you on my team. Our starter Pokemon, the first to bite the dust. Why? Why? Why, 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 Laron? Why, Kazim? Why? You were the chosen one. You were everyone's favorite. I know it. I know it. No one thought that. But I knew that you were everyone's favorite. We don't have much of a backup that's going to help us out. Oh, Kazim. Let's get that item out of for you. <sighs> Rest in peace. King. Just give that to whoever. Oh, Kazim. I think we're just going to rock the five Pokemon for now. We can't really go through Victory Road, uh, Cycling Road that much right now because... In fact, we will actually not be able to kill anything without taking massive damage. And I think we're just going to end off today's episode on a somber note. Our first casualty 10 episodes in. I mean, those are good numbers. But I think the backbone of our team falling is going to have a huge impact on our team looking forward. For starters, I was really banking on Kazim helping out a lot in this gym. So the fact that he's not with us, it could have been anybody else. The fact that he's not with us is actually going to be detrimental to our upcoming team fight. Um, I wouldn't expect any less than losing a couple team members in the upcoming gym battle. But with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, feel free to hit it with the like button and tell it a friend. As always, catch you guys next time. Peace.